we're back look all this crap on me so I literally I was just drying my hair doing my makeup I've got one eyebrow done and I was so excited to do my hair and makeup because um this is actually probably going to go out before the uh, Vietnam and Thailand vlog goes out because that's going to be so much footage so yeah check that out in a couple of weeks um i barely wore as you would have seen on my instagram stories i barely wore any makeup the whole time doing my hair was impossible um it got so damaged from the sun and i was actually excited to sit down do my makeup do my hair that i was so excited i thought you know what i'm gonna do a mini get ready with me because we are gonna go to london tonight my stepdad's lending us his car thank god still don't have a car uh, I'm saying that as if I'm going to get my car back, but I'm not getting it back. For those of you that don't know, it's stolen. And I don't even want it back. It's going to have bad vibes. So we're going to pick up the dogs. So excited. And probably have like a dinner. I'm really craving Sophie's Steakhouse. Sophie's Steakhouse, I literally crave the butter, lettuce and avocado. I don't even have steak. So I'm going to get back to my city style, which is my fave. I'm going to do mini PR boxings, literally only got a couple that I've just taken up here but I thought I'd show you. Having a nightmare with all of my posts, loads of stuff has gone missing, loads of stuff that I sent has gone missing. Already hit with like silly little stress things. So um, put this on Instagram stories and so many people wanted to know where I got this outfit from. These are ASOS, I've spoken about them loads of times, they're in the sale, probably all sold out. My t-shirt is Zara and I've got maternity agent Frocatubra on which I bought in LA when I was like 20 and definitely not pregnant. So that's my outfit, just casual. I've washed my hair and I actually filmed uh, me blow drying my hair. So I'll put that later because I've got the most insane new hair dryer. Um, I hope you don't mind this two minute uh, convo like this, but we're just catching up, you know, because I haven't seen anyone for ages. I've been, not been on YouTube for a couple of weeks. So when I was away, my hair was so bad. It was like literally like straw like all the humidity all the sun the chlorine the beach and i literally smothered my hair in coconut oil for a whole day um my hair dryer broke i'll show you like how dead it sounds so i got the new brand new one from panasonic it's a rose gold one which is going to be out when this video goes live i think so open up this description box to read all of the details. If I can get you any discount or anything like that, please open the description box and have a look there. Um, such a huge fan of Panasonic. You know that I've been, this is Panasonic, all my equipment is Panasonic. So I wanted to tell you about that because it's made my hair. I wish you could have seen it yesterday. It was so, even if you look on my Instagram at my pictures, my hair was like straw and it was so, you know when you go on a holiday and they're not good hair dryers and this is like new technology where it makes your hair like completely smooth. So I'm going to show you that. Uh, that's enough of me showing you here. I'm so happy to be home. Oh, let me quickly show you what my mum did. So my parents lived here for three weeks and I came back to this. She did all of our ironing and washing and she works full time. So amazing. You can't see the bedroom. It's an absolute mess. Even my wardrobe is an absolute mess. So I'm going to take you through a few things that I've had delivered. We're going away again on Monday and I need to repack all of that. Um, let me pop you there. No, there. And I'm going to take you through a few little things. Oh my God, there's a knife here. Can't wait to see the dogs. Ignore my face. I've got like half my, um, half my eyebrows done. So... Can't wait for you to see the Vietnam and uh, Thailand vlog, by the way. Um, and my hair's not finished. Oh, Claire, what are you doing? I'm so, God, two weeks off YouTube, three weeks off YouTube, and look at me. So I got these delivered. These are my, she's going to hate me. I even said to her one day, how do you pronounce this and what does it mean? I don't know why I struggle. A, and it, people get so angry when I don't pronounce things properly. A, a piddy, piddy. I'll put her Instagram here. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that my shoes with the pom-poms that I love, they got stolen in Vietnam and I come home and there was these. They're her new pair. Love the shoes. So I've got a little Joe Malone box, which I have opened. This is the Body Miss. Oh, why, why am I being bombarded with things I can't pronounce today? 
what is that by camera literally just decided to stop working and then the last two days it started working again but it's on its last legs i've dropped it way too many times this i got free on the business class lounge and every time i wore it uh sorry plane Paris would say to me, oh, what's that perfume? It's amazing. And I lost one at one of the hotels. Oh, sorry, I'm not in focus. I lost one in... <sighs> I'm ordering a new camera today. <laughs> so basically, Paris dropped this camera in Hermes and it fell down like marble, a marble staircase. So I'm not surprised. I'm surprised it's even working. That's better. So yeah, this is insane. And I got like a baby mini perfume. I got... Oh... The one that I'm wearing today is upstairs, but I've got these amazing bourgeois lip duos and they're like um, literally duo two colours. Ah, oh, there you go. So they're all different colours and I'll show you the one upstairs, but there's an amazing like nudie colour and they go on so well. I got the La Rouge Liquid Javon... Oh, don't, don't, don't. So I got the Givenchy uh, La Rouge Liquid set is it bad that i'm most excited about the tin i literally love the tin this is not what you think and it actually is true because let me show you i was looking at all the pictures uh like this and i was like oh yeah cool like a pinky color with a weird fluff thing on the top i was like that's weird and i got another one and i'm so dense i was literally just got off the plane though I got to about the fourth one and I was like, wait a minute, they're all the same colour, what the hell's going on here? And then I read one that said nude and I was like, that's not nude, that's pink. And then I realised that the liquid comes out the hole and it's like a little, I love the fluffy thing actually, it really makes a difference. So that was that. Um, I don't want to show you all the stuff downstairs because there's so much of it. I'm just going to show you the bits that are already here, I have no idea what this is. Elizabeth Arden anti-aging and intensive repair daily serum whoa I love serums probably my favorite I love I much prefer serum to moisturizers my room's such a mess by the way the whole house it's clean because my mum's been here but it's a mess oh this is impressive oh my god it's bright yeah it's bright yellow I wonder if it's got like a golden glow oh it does that looks really nice. Um, I just, I received a top from net porte that I bought myself at the airport because Paris put my Caroline Constance top in a beach bag and then all of the red wine went on it and I said, you are buying me a new one. Obviously I knew he wouldn't, so I just went ahead and bought it myself. Um, I had to go a size up because this is sold out, so if you do want this, hurry up and go to the website because already the 10 was sold out. But I think it's going to be okay and I don't mind things oversized. I'm going to wear that tomorrow, so head over to my Instagram and I bet this is already on my Instagram. If it's not, I should be in Marbella and I'll be wearing it there. So uh, let's go upstairs and I'm going to do a mini get ready with me. So, um, I think that these lights actually flicker a bit. So excuse that. I'm gonna pop you there because, um, I'm tired and I don't wanna go to the bar and get my ring light. So what do I have? Hmm, I thought I had all goodies to show you. Ah, yes I do, yep I do. So this was the uh, lip duo that I was talking about, the one in my colour. This is probably such an unflattering angle. Let me just pop it on. So I use the darker colour on the outside of my lips, so it's almost like a lip liner. And I love how it's like satin, but not too shiny. What does it say it is? Sculpting duo. It doesn't say, but it's like... It's not, it's not matte, but it's not too slippery. I really like it. Then I got these Duro blushes. I'm such a fan of bourgeois. Like a, a really rosy pink and a bright pink. This one's like a bronzy, 
like a real bronze goddess type of colour. And then this one is like a peachy. And these are all of my favourite kind of uh, colours for blushes. Okay, so I think I'm going to put it here actually because, oh yeah, that's better. Let me, sh let me show you these again. I think it'll be better like that. Yeah, so there you go. That's the one I'm going to put on today. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to do my eyebrows. Sorry that half my face is gone. And I'm using my, I have two favourite eyebrow products. It's the Blink Brow Liner, Brow Definer. I love this because it's really delicate on your eyebrows. And I literally just do little hair movements like this. My eyebrows are dire but I don't have a car so I couldn't go to get my eyebrows done today. I'll get them done tomorrow. So exciting weekend for me. Alex from HRH, HRH Collection is coming to London and we're hanging out. How exciting. This is why I love Instagram and blogging. I get to talk to so many of you and make friends. One of my really good friends actually um, she hates being on YouTube, she hates being on my Instagram, which I kind of like about her as well. Um, but I'll say her name, she's going to hate it. I'll message her and see if she reminds me saying her name, but Noreena. Um, we met through Instagram and we're actually genuine friends, it's so nice. We've been friends for a while now, I speak to her all the time. Um, we go shopping. Um, yeah, so I discovered Alex through you. This is such a bad angle, but I'm, I don't care. Uh, yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, you're like, I get a couple of messages from saying I'm like other people, but Alex is one of them, and she is way more crazy manic than me, I'll have you know, she's, I can't wait for Paris to meet her, because even Alex said this, we were like, he's going to love you even more, because he's going to realise how lucky I've got it, because she's so bloody crazy, she's like me, times, times 50, I reckon, we're very similar, so you are right, we are really similar, um, and I'm really excited to hang out with her. We're doing something very exciting for her tomorrow. Um, check out my Instagram, what we got up to, because she's going to be over the moon. But I'll let her tell you. She might not even want to show you. I mean, who am I kidding? Of course she's going to. But yeah, head over to our Instagrams, because it's exciting. So I'm hanging out with her tomorrow. God, Claire, get on with your eyebrows. This is why I don't do Get Ready With Me. I've only done one, and it was like an hour long. Um, God, now I'm like a man now, I can't talk and do my eyebrows. So today we had security people come round. So we've already got security, but we wanted to up it even more because of all the crap that's been happening. And I'm not just saying this, but no one, no one is getting near even the land, let alone the house. And I'm so excited about it. So yeah, let's get on with the get ready with me. So I'm just doing a um, light eyeshadow all the way across, and then I'm going to then I'm going to just use like this burnt orange colour in the corners. Um, I'm going to curl my eyelashes and put my mascara on, and then I'll be back to you because I don't want to bore you with this. I started to get carried away without you, so I've got some Chanel mascara on. I've just done the first layer of my, what colour is this? Light shade and dark shade, number two, Romeo, Romeo and Peachlet. So I have to put eye cheekbones like this, because I don't have that high cheekbones. And I just go under the jawline, and then I carry that kind of like a backwards E around the jaw. Just a light makeup. And then I get my big brush. Let's carry that down the neck. And then I'm going to use the pink just for the balls of my cheek. I feel like I'm doing such a terrible job. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, I love this. And I love how small they are. This is not the best blusher brush, but the other one is down, downstairs. Well, I was loving the colour so much, I think I put a bit too much on. Okay, I'm going to blend that out. I feel like the biggest prat doing this. I'm getting really hot. Don't look how dirty my eyelash colours are, I've been travelling. 
I said that as if I was like backpacking for six months, but I went to five star hotels and definitely didn't have a backpack. But you know what I mean? I didn't have time to clean all my makeup. In my next video, I'm going to show you how I clean all my brushes. Once I got pulled over for doing this in the car, I know I was really irresponsible, really immature. I'd never do it now. I was like 19 or something. I can't believe I actually did it. No wonder why I got pulled over. He wasn't even surprised. I was in Loughton, that's why. Anyone that knows Loughton in Essex, you know that that's just normal behaviour. <sighs> it's hot. I'm going to put a second coat of mascara. I'm so impressed with my hair. I wish you'd seen it yesterday. I'll put up a picture here. And obviously I'm on holiday, so it wasn't... It wasn't meant to be immaculate, but it was so dry and it just feels so smooth. I was really worried yesterday. But the hairdryer that you use really makes a difference because it depends on the heat. If it doesn't allow you to do really good in difference in temperature, that kills your hair. And the distribution of air as well. And also the brush you use when you're rough drying it, always like smooth it down with a brush. Um, but I dried my hair when I got back last night and my hair dryer was broke. Let me listen to this. This is not even that old as well. This is an old, this is, oh, it's not plugged in. But it, my hair was so bad and a hair dryer makes such a big difference. That's on full power. Sounds dangerous. And I do blame Paris because he puts it on full blast, so he's not allowed my new Panasonic hair dryer. I need to get him his own one. So the difference in the two hair dryers is insane. I was actually really worried last night. I was like, oh my god, is this how my hair is? And it's very blonde from the sun. Um, okay, so my makeup's finished. I haven't got any lip liner on or anything like that. Um, I'm going to show you the hair dryer and then I also got the new Panasonic Rose Gold hair straighteners and I'm just going to do like a bit of a, because I haven't curled my hair for three months, three weeks I mean, I'm going to test out the new um, straighteners and just show you how I curl my hair and then we're going to get dressed and we're going to go to London. I've got to wait for my stepdad to bring the car but let me show you the hair dryer. So that's the finished makeup look. Just really, normally I always have my hair like that. I haven't finished it. So just really casual, sun-kissed look, no foundation, not heavy eyeshadow. Just really like relaxed, summery look. So I hope you liked that. Let me know if you didn't. I'm getting really hot down here, up here. So let me go and show you the hairdryer. It goes in this wicked game, it's all for sure. Oh, I've got you. We figured out what it's all about Takes a second and then we're back it again Coaster ride for the triggered minds But I don't ever want us to stop okay? Go ahead, then let me smile from for all I care Just wanna stay close, don't say that So this is my new Panasonic and rose gold hairdryer I haven't used the straighteners yet. I am so excited to try these out. Um, they feel really nice. So I'm just going to give myself a bit of a zhuzh with this and then get ready with the straighteners. I've still got my um, dodgy outfit on. This hairdryer is an absolute record low. It is so, yeah, weight wise, it is so light which is an absolute must for me when it comes to a hair dryer because it takes ages for me to dry my hair and um, I can't have a hair dryer that's not, that's not light. Oh, well done Claire, now I've got these all modelled up. Um, I'm really like, lagging now with a jet lag because for me it's like three in the morning. So I, I feel really tired. Uh, no, I don't feel tired, I feel spaced out. Oh, here's my... Oh! Oh, this has temperature. So I'm going to put it on. Oh, wow, that's amazing. So this has, I'll film a close-up, this has the temperature 
That is insane. I've never seen that on a hair straightener before, which is so good for me because sometimes I do this trick where I turn it off and as it's getting the heat is going, I do the front of my hair where it's damaged. But now I can just put it on the low hit, uh, setting. So I'm going to put it on 200, which is second to the top. The blue light is showing, which means that it's cold. Um, I wonder if it bleeps when it's ready. And you can lock this as well. I absolutely love the rose gold. It's so nice. So this also comes with the um, diffuser, which I love using when I have my wavy hair. But this is all tangled with that. Okay, so let's leave that to heat up. And I'm just going to give my hair a bit of a zhuzh. So I already dried this this morning. It's super fat, powerful, this hair dryer. Um, and just a little trick that I do, which you know most people know, is that when I put my hair in rollers or I'm blow drying it like this, I always push the cold heat because the cold heat helps it set. So. so this is what I do with my hair most mornings. I just go around the bottom and I give it a little flick. And then I also just smooth it out. So that's just to go over everything to make it smooth. This I haven't blow dried it properly. I always shape it around my face. So I've like blow dried the front like this, but the rest I've just smoothed it down because I'm going to use the hair straighteners to give it a bit of a wave. But I can't tell you how smooth that's made my hair. I know I keep going on about it, but it was so bad throughout my holiday, and I was really worried. I can hear that's ready. Oh, we didn't listen for the beep. Okay, so with the hair straighteners, when I'm doing, I love using straighteners for like a loose curl, and um, you can make them like really odd so it looks a bit more beachy so I always go over it ever so slightly and it's really good that this has got the low setting so you can use the low setting just to smooth down any frizzy hairs feels really springy and it's nice to have black for a change okay so I normally get quite a thin part I brush it out to make sure it's all smooth and then always pull it away from your face so you twist it out god they're very very hot that is seriously hot god they're so strong so I've just put it down one because I just want to get a loose wave and my hair feels very damaged from the sun but that's really good to know that it's that hot because, whoa. Okay, I have a confession. I am actually not very good at curling my hair with straighteners. I've only just kind of learned. Um, but this makes it a lot easier because of how hot it is. Whoa, I'm seriously impressed with that. Whoa. I was just expecting these to be like my other straighteners, to be honest. I wasn't expecting much of a difference. I think it's how hot it is, you know. I think, and I've just turned it down, and I can notice the difference straight away. So I'm just doing the bottom, really. This is really therapeutic. Does anyone else feel that doing your hair, like curling your hair is therapeutic? I love the shape of this as well. I think it's making it really easy to twist. So I'm just going to, if I leave my hair for a couple of hours without straightening it, it will naturally go a little bit wavy. So I don't actually have to curl it that much. I can just get random bits of hair curl those bits and then it all blends later because I don't want to do like too much for curly look just a bit of a wave just to give it some va va voom
I'm just curling it from halfway down and then I'll put a bit of um, my systems professional dry shampoo that you know I all love so much I use it all the time even though my hair's clean it gives it a bit of texture and a bit of lift and then a bit of hairspray and then it will just be like give it some volume so I'm just going to do that all the way around I'll do one here like a bit close so you can have a look I don't even need to brush it because it's already really really smooth so I twist it Twist it again, voila, and then I always do a bit of a twist and then I leave that to settle. So let me do that all the way around. Should I do one this side so you can see? My hair's gone so blonde from the sun. I'll do one this side so you can see the difference. Oh my god, that went wrong. It's because I'm. Oh no, it's actually okay. It's because I'm getting used to doing the other direction. Okay, I'm gonna take some more, and then I'll get back to you when it's all done a little bit more. So I've curled my hair. It took me no time at all because they're so hot. I had it on second to top um, heat, and that worked well. By the way, this is the nail varnish I have on. I just did it. It's called Beige Friend by Bourjois. Um, okay, so I'm going to put a bit of dry shampoo. As I said, my hair is all dry. I love curling my hair with straighteners because it makes it so smooth. I find the curling wand is a lot easier. But um, I'm just going to get this bit uh, a lot easier, but not as smooth as when you use straighteners. And I love that you can get like a glam curl or a beach wave with a hair straightener. Sorry, I'm struggling. I'm so jet lagged. So I'm just going to put only a tiny bit because my hair is perfectly clean. But I just want to give it a bit of texture. And I love how light this one is. I've done a whole video and blog post about this dry shampoo because I loved it and check out the blog post that I'm going to do for the hair straighteners and the hair dryer because I want to talk about it in depth like about the technology, the the price, where you can buy it so I'll leave the link to that below and then I'm just going to do some hairspray and I also put some heat protector I use this one, I did that before, I use this Philip Kinsey one, it's nearly all gone it's really important to use heat protector So I'm going to let that set. I like how loose they are. Let me show you probably in the mirror. This hairspray is super lightweight. That's why I really like it. So let me show you. This is before I've brushed it out. So I wanted it quite messy and quite beachy. And then I'm going to brush it all out. I just wanted to give it a bit of smoothness and a bit of a kick at the bottom. So let's have a look. There you go. And that literally took me five minutes. That's how I have my hair pretty much every day. And then I'll leave it like that for the next couple of days. Um, now, whilst I'm letting this set, now I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to put that new off-the-shoulder top, a pair of Levi's. I actually really miss wearing Levi's and wearing a pair of jeans. Um, and like a nice pair of Manolos. So I do love going on holiday and it's so refreshing to just be like messy hair, no make makeup. I love it and it's like really refreshing. But I always look forward to coming back and doing my hair and makeup and wearing a pair of jeans. So let's go and get dressed. And pack my bag. I'll pack my bag with you I think and then we'll go to London. So this is my final look. I was going to wear this with my um, jeans, but I just thought I was inspired by my rose gold. Ignore my pyjamas in the background. I was inspired by my rose gold hair dryer and straighteners, and I remember that I had these. These rose gold satin flares. They're so comfy because they're, they've got a drawstring waist. I think I'm gonna tuck this in. But how nice is this outfit? This will be superb with like 
a leather skirt, high-waisted jeans. I knew it was going to be good. Look at the embroidery, the frill, the fluted sleeve. This is a little bit big for me. A size 10 would have been better. I had to go for a 12, but I really don't mind. It's fully worth it, and I'm one of them people that like things big and not tight, so I'm totally fine with... So if you need to go up a size, like, it's totally fine. I'm so in love with it. It was a bit pricey, but I thought, no, it's going to go with everything, and I think it's going to look really nice in real life. I'm shocked how nice it looks. I literally can't believe it. So I'll leave the link below. I think it might have sold out, but I'll leave it below. Um, yes, that's my final look. I'm so happy with my hair. I can't believe that this only took me five minutes. And it's so smooth and shiny. It's exactly what I wanted. I did the wave at the top. Uh, to frame my face and then these ones I did halfway down just for that beachy look but I love how smooth it is and I'm really happy that it only took me five minutes so I'm gonna brush this through I'm gonna go to the bar take a few pictures um, and I'm not sure if we're gonna go to London you know because it's quite late and in our mind it's quite late and I think it's a bit dangerous driving plus my mum's just turned up so yeah I'm really happy with this outfit check out the Instagram for like a full picture. Um, I think that's it for now. Change of plan. I'm in my pyjamas. So I didn't get all my work finished. Um, I can't go off for the weekend without that done. So yeah, that comes first. I'm in my comfy pyjamas. Hair's still looking exactly how I wanted it. This is probably gonna stay like that for tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna copy my exact same makeup. Um, I found my outfit, so all that all that's different is we'll be going tomorrow. So um, yeah, just wanted to update you, and then tomorrow I'll pick this vlog up again. Probably I won't do a get rid of me because I'm literally going to do what I just did, and I guess we'll just finish this vlog off in London. Really, I find it weird getting back into home vlogging again. <laughs> Should we do the ultimate hair dry test? What's that? So, if it's good hair dryer, Tina and Bambi are going to sit here and be like, hmm. And if it's, if it's bad, they're going to go off because if it's too hot or too noisy, they won't like it. So, every time I dry my hair, this is what happens. So, let's see. Come tell us. <laughs> 